flow through ecosystem. First of all, we define what is ecosystem concept. Ecosystem concept is the sum of all organism in a given area as well as the abiotic factors with which they are interact. This definition is coined from Campbell book. It can be divided into two types. The first one is lake ecosystem and the second one is territorial, terrestrial ecosystem. Both ecosystem will be discussed deeply in your tutorial. Component of ecosystem can, divide, can be divided into four. The first one is biotic component. The second one is abiotic component. The third one is interaction between biotic and abiotic component. And the fourth one is interaction between biotic component. So in this lecture, we will discuss all four uh, component of ecosystem deeply. The first one is biotic component. So biotic component is the elements of living worlds that affect particular organism. So it can be divided into three major types. The first one is autotroph, which is a producer. The second one is a heterotroph, which is a consumer. And the third one is decomposers. So the biotic component between the biotic component in this example will be having a particular relationship with other organisms. So let us discuss one by one of the biotic component. The first biotic component is autotroph. Autotroph can be defined as is an organism that uses energy from the sun to make organic molecules from inorganic materials. We can also define autotroph as a producer that comprises of all photosynthetic organisms such as plant, seaweed and any organism that have chlorophyll. Let us discuss the second types of biotic component, which is heterotroph. So, what is a heterotroph? Heterotroph is a consumer. Okay. So we can define uh, we can define it as an organism that cannot synthesize their own food from inorganic materials. It can be divided into another four types. The first one is detritivores. So detritivores is an organism that consumes fragments of freshly dead or decomposing organism. Usually, it is a primary consumer. An example is such as is earthworm and crab. The second types of heterotroph is herbivores. So herbivores is an animals that mainly feeds on the plants or algae. So usually, it is a primary consumer and usually located or classified in the secondary trophic level. The third one is omnivore. So, omnivore is an animal that eats a variety of plants or algae and animals. It can be either as a secondary or tertiary consumer and usually located in the second or third trophic level. And last but not least is a carnivore. So, carnivore is an animal that feeds on other animals such as a flesh eater. It's usually a secondary consumer or tertiary consumer that located in a third trophic level. So the third types of biotic components is a decomposer. So decomposer can be defined as a, a heterotroph that breaks down dead organic materials and use the decomposition products as a source of energy. We can also call it as a saprotroph. So examples of decomposers is bacteria and fungi. A third component of ecosystem is a biotic component. So let us define what is a biotic component. A biotic component is any of the non-living referring to the chemical and physical properties of the environment. For example, temperature, light intensity, water, nutrient, and humidity. There are three examples that we will discuss in this uh, lecture, which is atmosphere, hydrosphere, and lithosphere. So, atmosphere is a thin envelope or a membrane of air around the planet. It, it contains gases such as nitrogen, oxygen, and carbon dioxide. Hydrosphere is a water. So, hydrosphere can be defined as earth water, found as a liquid water, ice, water vapor, for example, ocean, iceberg, and water vapor in atmosphere. Meanwhile, Lithosphere is a earth part of the abiotic component. Lithosphere is the earth crust 
and upper mantles that contain soil and minerals. Okay, the last component in ecosystem that we will discuss today is interaction between multi component. It can be divided into five important component, which is competition, parasitism, predation, commensalism, and mutualism. Let us discuss each of these component to make sure that you guys understand what is the meaning of those component. Okay, the first one is competition. Competition is a negative interaction that occur when uh, individuals of different species compete for a resources that limit the survival and reproduction of each species. It can be divided into two types. The first one is intraspecific competition and the second is interspecific competition. Intraspecific competition is a competition between individuals of the same species. Meanwhile, intraspecific competition is a competition between individuals of different species. The second component is parasitism. Parasitism is a positive or negative exploitative interaction in which one organism, parasite, obtain nourishment from other organism, the host which is harmed in the process. So, it also can be divided into two types. The first one is endoparasite and the second one is ectoparasite. Endoparasite is live in the body of the host. Meanwhile, ectoparasite is fits on the external surface of the host. The third interaction between biotic component is predation. So predation can be defined as a positive or negative interaction between species in which one species become predator that kills and eat another species that we call it as prey. So it can be include both animal-animal interaction or animal-plant interaction. Next is a commensalism. So what is a commensalism? Commensalism can be defined as an interaction between species that benefits one of the species but neither harm nor help the others. So a typical example of commensalism is a shark and remora fish, where remora fish were fit on the stray bits of the food that left by the shark also were attached to the shark for the free transportation. Last but not least, is a mutualism. Mutualism can be defined as interspecific interaction that benefits both species. So examples of mutualism is the association between nitrogen fixing bacteria of rhizobium and legum. So a plant such as peas and bean. Okay? Last but not least, we will discuss the last component of ecosystem which is interaction between biotic and abiotic component. So this is interaction between living organism and non-living organism where there is an element cycle between biotic and abiotic factors. This is really important to sustain the ecosystem as a whole because it will interacting and influencing between each other. So the examples of abiotic factors that may affect the abiotic factors is for example, it's a type of organism that survives, the distribution of population of organism, and the size of population of organism. So we have three major examples in this interaction between biotic and abiotic component, such as photosynthesis, assimilation, and decomposition. Thank you for watching the lectures until the end of the lectures. Hopefully you guys understand all of this topic that has been discussed in this lecture. Thank you.